anything, any belief in anything can take on the dimensions of fanaticism, cultishness. Um, I uh, brought this up in a previous video, uncertainty, the big question mark that underlies everything. Does this scare you? <laughs> um, I've often thought that all fear is ultimately irrational fear, and all fear is ultimately fear of the unknown. Uh, is the unknown something that's worth fearing? Is fear maybe the big problem that we're all trying to solve? We have nothing to fear but fear itself. That's what uh, the cult leader comes uh, down to his flock with. All these reasons why they should be afraid of everything. And he's the solution to all the fears. He paints this terrifying picture of reality and uh, surrender you, your will to him and you'll be freed from fear. How about you learn not to fear anything in the first place? There's always fear behind any kind of idea that's being sold to you in terms of uh, strong and fanatical beliefs. Fear is the ultimate uh, prop for fanaticism or cultishness of any kind at all. Show me any fanatic who's not living in mortal terror, um, and uh, I'll show you a uh, right-angled circle. It's, uh, it's an old saw, again, that we have nothing to fear but fear itself, and that kind of sounds like it's letting us off the hook, but it's not. It's telling us just what a terrifying thing fear is. <laughs> Sounds a little bit zen, doesn't it? But I think that these things are best approached in that, uh, that kind of a mindset. What will people do to banish this? What will we do to uh, take the fear out of everything, the uncertainty? Well, what I tend to think is that You've got to do your own thinking, and you've got to draw your own conclusions, and blind faith is not really um, dealing with fear at all. It's simply storing it up somewhere else in the back of your head. It's in there. It's screaming to get out, and you can hear it all the time, regardless of whether or not you try to ignore that fear. And I think that a lot of belief systems that seem to banish fear, such as, I don't know, determinism, do exactly that as well, because I think that a lot of people are drawn towards determinism, because it gives you uh, this strange sense of absolute certainty, and it also um, deals with awkward questions and awkward objections by simply altering or negating the awkward objection or the awkward question itself. What happened before the Big Bang? Well, the answer to that is that's a stupid question. That's not an answer, though. That, that, that didn't answer the question. Um, what is desire? What is agency? They don't exist. End of story. Okay. Uh, uh, the problem with that is, of course, I think that you can sort of, in an emotional way, sort of go, ah, there, ha, I can just ignore these, uh, these objections to, say, determinism or any sort of concrete ism. Uh, but in, in that sense, you're sort of playing a game with your own mind, and it's a dishonest game. You're sort of saying that, well, that question that you've asked is not something that's going to trouble me. I'll simply tell myself that it's a stupid question. Orwell's crime stop, the capacity to become bored or uninterested or angry or upset with awkward thoughts. Uh, the phenomenon in Newspeak is crime stop. The fanatic automatically develops this mental blind spot whereby any inconvenient thought is immediately um, sort of invalidated inside his or her mind. Well, okay, you can go around and tell yourself that this doesn't exist. But it does exist. And if you ask me, the problem with... Um, all these isms that are out there to banish uncertainty and thus fear from our lives are based upon a false premise. And the false premise, if you ask me, is that 
certainty is something that is desirable to the exclusion of all else. Um, what's wrong with being uncertain? Thank you.